Gun up in five today, three people are killed in a multi-vehicle crash along I-57 on the south side this morning. Plus, another person is killed in a crash in North Brook. Also, the investigation continues in Hoffman Estates on an accident. And travel times is coming up on the news at 5. This is RTA 25 News at 5. Chicago's fastest growing news. Right at five, three people have been identified in a multi-vehicle accident this morning on Chicago South Side. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Rondell Ross. Welcome to the RTA 25 News at 5. The accident occurred around 3.20 this morning on I-57 near 107th Street. According to the Illinois State Police, a car slammed into the semi-truck in the back in the back of the semi-truck on the northbound lanes of I-57 and struck a concrete wall. This accident came after an earlier crash was cleared near 103rd and I-57. The victims are identified as well. Um, the victims was identified as 19-year-old Julius Green, the driver, 19-year-old Precious Horace, and 21-year-old Monty. Montanay Taylor. A fourth person was taken to the hospital and is clinging to life. ISP says none of the four victims were wearing seatbelts and it's not clear of, of what caused the accident. The northbound lanes were reopened around 7.30 this morning. A few more accident stories are making headlines on this day. Another person was killed on I-94 in Northbrook. According to the Illinois State Police, 47-year-old Liddell Brassell was driving westbound on I-94 around 1.30 this morning near Waukegan Road when he crashed into the back of a semi-truck. Brassell was pronounced dead at the scene around 2.15 this morning. <sighs> Sorry. We'll have more on this story coming up tonight on the news at 6 and again at 10. Also, two people were injured in an accident in Hoffman Estates Friday afternoon. The accident happened around 3.20 when a 21-year-old male driver was driving a Chevrolet northbound on Route 59 when he veered into the southbound lanes and struck a Volkswagen. For photo courtesy of ABC 7's Chopper 7, the Cook County Sheriff's Office is still investigating the accident as we speak. Coming up on the news at 5 o'clock continues, Cheryl Burton marks 25 years at Chicago's number one television station, plus an extension to Illinois 390 when the news at 5 continues. In my opinion, she's one of Chicago's most beautiful broadcasters, and she's celebrating 25 years at ABC7. Cheryl Burton joined ABC7 in 1992 on the day her father passed away. Cheryl was, has anchored the weekend news with Jim Rosenfield from 1992 through 1998, and later on with Rob Johnson from 1998 through 2003. In March of 2003, Cheryl was promoted to the 5 o'clock newscast alongside Ron Majors as Diane Burns' successor. She was later placed as a contributor and a backup anchor for the ABC7 News at 10 alongside Ron and Kathy Brock. Five, the five ten o'clock newscasts are currently main anchored by Alan Krzyzewski, and in 2016, she was promoted to the seven o'clock newscast on WCIU Channel 26B with Jose Sanders, succeeding Linda Yu's spot as she had planned to write a second book just seven months before she retired. Show told Robert Federer, "Quote: To be able to cover the stories of my city, in the city where I was born and raised, was a price has been a priceless gift." ABC7 has given me the opportunity to report such historic events as the inaugurations of the first Af African American president, and enabled me to travel the globe covering the opening of the Oprah Winfrey's prestigious school for girls in South Africa. But my most memorable moments have, have come from sharing my stories of ordinary Chicagoans doing extraordinary things in the rich and diverse neighborhoods that have shaped my life. You can catch Cheryl at 6.30 on ABC7 with Heart and Soul, hosted alongside Jose Sanders. Illinois 390 is getting an extension starting Wednesday. The Illinois Tollway is opening the extension to make it closer to O'Hare Airport. Previously, the, known as the Elgin O'Hare Expressway, a.k.a. the EOE, Route 390, did not go to Elgin or O'Hare when it opened in 1993. The total cost to drive the entire 10-mile stretch will be $1.90. I have, a, I have more in a special segment tonight on the news at 10 o'clock. Stay tuned, everybody. We'll be right back with the news at 5.
Welcome back, everyone. Finally, at 5 o'clock, Metro will make several adjustments to the Metro Electric line to better match training times and reduce the congestion on the line. Chairman Don Orsino said, in quote, anytime you undergo a schedule change of that magnitude, adjustments will need to be made. Here are the changes as follows. Change, train number 203 will depart Millennium Station at 6.16 a.m. instead of 6.38 to improve on-time performance of five of the train number 506, which uses the same equipment. Train number 700 will depart University Park at 6.30 a.m., two minutes behind the original time to, redu to reduce the congestion. Train number 111 will depart downtown at 7.35. Train number 7.38 will depart at 8.36 a.m. to reflect actual operations. Train number 129 will depart downtown at 3.45 p.m. Train number 236 will skip stops from 47th Street to 18th Street to speed up the trip. Train number 336 will accommodate the passengers at the skip stops. To find out more, you can log on to, our web you can log on to Metro's website at metrorail.com. Thanks for joining us for the RTS 25 News 5 this Saturday. I'm Ron Del Ross for everyone here. We'll see you back here.